Sorry, I've just been eating a substantial amount of corn chips. Hey guys, so last week, um, me and some friends were down in the Yarra Valley. We discovered a new hobby, wine tasting. Don't know why I've never thought of this hobby before. I feel like it's right up my alley. It's a great hobby. Now I know what you're thinking. Katie, wine tasting is for like classy rich people, which you were neither. Wrong. Wine tasting is the best way to get drunk for free whilst pretending to be privileged, which most people love to do. So here's a couple of quick tips for a successful day of wine tasting. Step one, you're gonna have to dress the part. The end of the day, the more privileged, the more privileged, the more privileged, so privileged, I can't even say it. The more privileged you look, the less likely they're gonna be onto you. Got me boots, got me long sleeve, wear some sort of a hat like this. Hello. You also need to find a rich old guy to drive you around and like pack the car boot if you do decide to buy anything. Take us wine tasting today. Well, I don't know because I'm not sure if they'll behave themselves. That's I only yes. seen them in action for one night and yeah, probably. All right, okay, I'm, I'm getting there. Packing wines. Here, Roger, there you go. Packing yeah. wines. A lot of wine tasting places will charge you per tasting, say $5, $10, but then if you buy a bottle, you don't have to pay for the tasting. So you can sort of scheme it and just buy one bottle between all of you, and then it's just cheaper. Probably the main thing to get through to you guys about wine tasting is, if you're not classy, pretend to be classy. Doesn't matter if you're going to one vineyard. Two vineyards. Three vineyards. Four vineyards. I don't know how many times I have to say this. Pretend to be classy. Now, when you're at the cellar door, always look at the wine list. Even if you don't care what it is, you just want your goddamn tastings. Neck some wine down, look at it again. You can also pretend to be really interested by like holding your chest. So, if you've never been wine tasting before, easy way to do it, give it a swirl, give it a sniff, only if they're watching you, if they're not watching you taste it, just fucking neck it down. See what the orange one is. Like, I like to sip and then just like look around and pretend that I'm thinking about what I can taste in it. At the end of the day, it's, you can just taste wine. It's, it's good, but it's wine. The two different like words. Yeah, is it dry? They, so they're basically the same, are they? Identical, right? But it is. I've often wondered that. Well, what's the Italian way of saying it? Grigio is grey for Italian. Grigio. Yeah. Another tip never spit your wine out. Spitting out good wine is I just, it's literally unspeakable. Actually, even if it's shit wine, spitting out any wine is fucking unspeakable. <laughs> Don't be afraid to double fist that shit behind the cute French bartender, server guy, cellar door guy, behind the cute French dude. Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. Majority of Chardonnay, 70%. <laughs> um, it's always good to take some professional people with you. Doesn't matter what their profession is. He's a German short-haired pointer, aren't you? We've got the dog professional in the house. German short-haired pointer. Okay. okay guys, that's it for me on wine tasting. That was a quick one. Um, I'm gonna put a Melbourne vlog up too soon, I think. Unless it's super lame, then I'm not gonna.
I just popped. I'm so hungry. I think I put on like three kilos on holidays and like I just can't stop eating. I'm not pregnant. 